Hi, lovely mums. How are you today? So great, I hope, and doing fantastical in business. There are not enough hours in the day. How many times have you said that? And guess what? You may very well be right. But how, how do you actually know? Well, I had the pleasure of listening to Planning Queen, Nicole Avery, uh, just recently, and she told us she made a huge mistake when her kids went to school. What she did was she planned her day around the fact that she would now have from 9am to 3pm every day for her business. But she actually didn't. By the time she got home, maybe she did some shopping, possibly started dinner, maybe did a little housework and then started on work. She only had four hours in the day for business or potentially even three. And I actually think this is the case for a lot of us. We're walking around telling ourselves one thing when in actual fact, the reality is quite different. We don't have as many hours as what we think. And this can create stress that we're not getting everything done. It can be bad for business if we drop the ball, we all get guilty if we're not spending enough time with our kids, as I'm sure you're all very familiar with. So what I'd like to suggest to you is that you actually do a time audit. Now, I know we're talking about not having enough time and energy here, so it actually doesn't make any sense to use up more of it to be doing a time audit, but I promise that this commitment will work out so much better for you in the end. For one week or two weeks or whatever you need, I want you to log everything you do and the time it takes you. Do it in a way that works for you. So you may want to create an Excel spreadsheet with different columns, a column for housework, for business, for kids, or you may just want to log everything in a notebook and just sort of work it all out at the end, or maybe use an app that tracks um, tasks and, and you allocate the time to those tasks. And for your business in particular, break those activities down. So how much time are you spending on social media? How much time are you spending on the phone, at networking events, doing your admin and so on? And then at the end of that period of time, actually look at how much time you spend on everything you're doing. Are you shocked at the results? Do you only have 20 hours a week for business when in actual fact you need 30? Are you spending too much time on Facebook? Are you spending too much time doing the dishes? The best part is that with these facts, you can actually start working out how you're going to address your hours crisis. Will you hire a cleaner to win two hours a week back? Will you decide you really don't need to iron the sheets? And yes, trust me, I know people that do it. Will you mobilise your kids to do more chores? Will you quit Facebook for good now that you see the time you put in isn't worth what you get out? Will you focus only on particular business activities now that you know you only have 20 hours a week instead of 30. It's really only with the cold hard facts about how much time you have and what you're doing with that time that you can start to create change that will really have long lasting benefits for you, for your family and for your business. Hopefully you'll never complain about not having enough hours in the day again. Thank you very much. Bye. It's going one too fast. Go. Is this hound? <clears throat> yes, hello, hello. Thanks for listening to me. If you think that you would love to know when my next video comes out, you can. Just subscribe um, here or here or here or down there or somewhere around here. You'll see the subscribe button. Hope to see you again. Bye. Thanks for listening to me. If you think that you would love to know when my next video comes out, you can. Just subscribe um, here or here or here or down there or somewhere around here. You'll see the subscribe button. Hope to see you again. Bye.